is a piece of shit. And it's bizarre because normally with people who are so terrible, in general, you wouldn't go to their wedding. Get some heat, jazz hands, baby. Uh, I love you guys. I do. Why? But he has a magic spell that he places on you. He says a little prayer around your dick and ball area, and it, and and you watch it happen, and for some reason you can't stop it. You're like, dude. And then and then. Everything that he says is golden. It's like it's witchcraft. Hi, right, Alicia and Heath. I'm so excited for you guys to get married. This is amazing. I can't believe the day is actually here. Congratulations. I love you guys. Thank you so fucking much. I've had the best life ever. It's a It's like a soothsayer. And, and for some reason, you find yourself attracted to him um, sexually. What I'm saying. Oh, that was fucking gross. <laughs> Which is also weird to say. I'm not a gay man, but I would suck his cock. I would seriously suck his cock until it came. <laughs> I like the guy. I don't know why. She's just set to the cock sucking, right? Get down on all four. Remove the cock from the trousers. <laughs> so proud of both of you and honored to be a part of it. I hope you guys have many years of health and happiness and uh, a lot of kids. <laughs> Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good evening. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mimi. On behalf of Heath, Alicia, and their families, welcome. You've both been such wonderful friends to me. I love you. <laughs> and it's an honor to be the one marrying you. You are two of my favorite people in this world. <laughs> When I woke up this morning, I was like, what if I just grabbed the mic and sang something? Would that be totally awkward? No, that's not the plan. Spending a lot of time together, having a lot of fun. And um, I want to do that till you're dead. I want you to promise in front of Mimi and all our friends and family that you're not going to back out of this deal. And we're going to put rings on each other so that people know we have an arrangement <laughs> and of course everyone knows why we're really doing this tax purposes <laughs> that was a joke mom calm down <laughs> but really um, I know people have told you that you're the lucky one but I'm so lucky because you really are very, very charming. <laughs> I love you. And now, the moment you have all been waiting for, Keith and Alicia have asked me to read the vows. I do! Please place the ring on her finger. He did put a ring on it. <laughs> it's about time. Jeez. I do. 
Please place the ring on his finger. <laughs> now, if there's anyone who has any reason that these two shouldn't be married, please no. Quietly make your way to the exit. By the power vested in me by the World Wide Web and the state of California, I now proudly pronounce you both husband and wife. Kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor and privilege to be the first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Ethan the Ripplinger. Party and I just married the most beautiful, wonderful woman on the fucking face of the earth. And now we are enjoying chocolate milk. And we have so many lovely friends and family that have come from far and wide. And we're about to have a fucking awesome party. And Lee's here and he sucks dicks. Fuck the juice. <laughs> than some of you know Heath. And my name is Lee Miles. <laughs> Eat shit. Good start. Good start. Heath and Alicia are the best. I mean, what can you say about a man who, after firing off an image of two men fisting one another violently, to, to his entire family, by the way. This whole table got this text message. And to his closest friends. We'll stand in his kitchen making you uh, the best organic, all-natural margarita you've ever had in your life. And explain his theories regarding, you know, how uh, you know a dairy-free ice cream would better suit your diet. And regale upon the creaminess of his last bowel movement. <laughs> Listing all the sensations his asshole felt as the fiery discharge slammed out of his inflamed balloon knot. 
all right in front of his beautiful wife, Alicia, mind you, who stands in silent disgust, absorbing every word as if immune or impervious. Nobody understands how she does it, but she's there, poised and unfazed. She is truly an example of the patience that a good marriage requires. Keith and Alicia are the best. Let me put it this way. After spending, you know, a couple years with these two and watching how they were a true team and how they support each other and stay the fuck out of each other's way at the same time, it's amazing. And it made me realize, instantly, that I had to break up with my fiance. Oh, true. And I do not want to disenfranchise my ex. Yes, I do. But she was a cunt. <laughs> uh, she was. But anyway, you know, I just thought that, you know, before I met them, I thought this is the, the arrangement that you make with life. Like, this is the agreement you make, you know? It's the price of love. Is that you were, you were supposed to just deal with this behavior that's happening to you. When in fact, it's not so. You, you should never deal with behavior in a relationship. It should be the best. And that's what they are. Keith and Alicia are the fucking best. The best! The best! And that's why I'm here to say to you two, sincerely, I love you more than any straight man should love a man he... <laughs> Alicia, I won't talk about the things that I've thought about with you. <laughs> but you're a really great person, and every woman here... Hey, calm down. Every woman here admires you for the yes, touch that you have in Heath. Let's see here. And for, for everything you continue doing for us out here in the real world, searching for that piece that fits. If we can find a piece that fits even half as well as he fits into Alicia, it will be a long, wonderful life. I love you too. Also, ladies, I'm still single. When he moved to LA with his band, our family had high hopes. Close in your mouth! Close in your mouth. Learn, learn the mic. She's the mic talking your face. Ten years ago, when he moved to LA, the rest of the band all moved back home. But not he. Because he then met a woman. You could tell right away that this was a pretty big deal. Because he didn't do anything but talk about her. The, the woman that has proven over all of these years that she is actually willing to put up with his shit. Which is really a pretty big surprise to all of us. We like to joke that Alicia deserves some kind of an award or a medal or some big trophy with a woman that does something like this. It's really upset, but in all honesty, she loves him. You can see it when, in her eyes when she looks at him. And I know that Heath loves her too because the, the number of conversations that we've had over the last 10 years about Alicia number in the thousands. To me, anyway, it seems to be a pretty rare thing for two people that are really meant to be together to find one another. And I'm so glad that my brother found his. And I'm so glad that it's Alicia. I love you guys, both of you, so much. I wish you all the happiness in the world. And I would say welcome to the family, Alicia, but you've been part of ours for the last 10 years. So I'll just say congratulations.
Ethan Alicia on Heath's birthday eight or nine years ago. I'm bad at time. Um, and Heath and I met, and we both said inappropriate things to each other. And then Alicia heard about the inappropriate thing I said and was like, what is wrong with that girl? And I saw Alicia and was like, that, I want her to be my friend. That's going to be my new friend. And she did not want to be my friend. <laughs> So I kept trying. I was like, we're both Leos. Is that cool? <laughs> um, and I'm glad that she gave in and became my friend because she's one of the best that I have. And so is he. Um, and they were there for me when I went through my crazy stage of life. I got to crawl in bed with them all the time. <laughs> Um, I don't know how their relationship was at that time since I was in their bed for a lot of it. <laughs> um, <laughs> and your, yeah, and Carrie was our troop leader. <laughs> and you, you took to me right away. You were open and loving and you've been friends ever since. I have so many memories, and they talk about, you gotta tell one funny story and one memory. I have too many. I remember sleepovers and plays in your basement with your sisters. And I remember singing All I Want for Christmas to so you by Mariah Carey all the time. Alicia is my oldest friend, and I cherish her friendship so deeply. You've always been there for me, no matter what, for any problem. No matter what, you're so loyal to me, and that's what I love the most about you. And Alicia's willing to have fun and laugh in any situation all the time. And that's why I think you're amazing. And you're my sister too. And I love you. I met Alicia in eighth grade, and throughout the years, we just seem to get closer and closer in our old age. We're just bonding more and more. Um, I admire you so much. I admire your ambition. I don't know many people who are like, hey, I think I want to go to law school now. I'm going. Bye. And now she's like almost done. That's crazy. Um, she's so smart. She had a crazy, wicked crush on him. It was so fun to hear how excited she was about Heath and to watch their friendship grow. And as we all know, he moved to LA and the rest of history. And I can't believe that was over 10 years ago. Now let's talk a little more about Heath. Yeah. Heath has been known to say inappropriate things a time or two. something really what gross else? and text it to you because he thinks that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Let's just say that Heath is very unique and special. Over the years I've gotten to know Heath very well and one thing I can say for sure is that he can make you laugh so hard that you can cry and he has a huge heart. Alicia, this man completely adores you and would do anything for you as long as Curtis is holding up okay. Oh my god. Oh, Curtis! Curtis! Oh, yeah, man. Curtis, Curtis! What I admire most about the two of you is that you tru truly love each other for who you are and you're not trying to change the other person. You built careers and sound studios. You had a fur baby, little Curtis man. You got accepted to law school, you made a home together. You are not the same people that you were 10 years ago. But while you have changed, your love has remained strong and ever evolving. We love how much you guys laugh together and knowing that Alicia will be smiling and laughing the rest of her days makes us so happy and we couldn't ask for anything more. So please raise your glasses. Is that through the years your love will grow and deepen, and that years from now you'll look back on this day, your wedding day, as the day you love each other the least. We love you guys. Congratulations. Talk right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Oh, well, hi, newlyweds. How are we hi. feeling right now? Hi, we're currently at our wedding. Okay, and we're, everyone uh, told us that we would not eat at all, but we're yeah. eating. Here I go. Look. It's happening. There's a lawn. We're a lawn. I'm thinking about making out with her um, a lot. Uh, sometimes I think maybe it's dangerous, but other times, I mean, look. She's hot. She is hot. Extremely hot. So, whilst we're making out, we want to tell you, you better be fucking. Right now, while you're watching this, he, you need to be inside Alicia. Totally dumb. I mean, you're you're like a power bottom, right? Okay, I, that's what I want to make sure of. Because I'm not about anything other. I will thunder fuck your ass. Oh, all right. So thank you. Um, yes. Yes. I had a shirt vagina. I had inside there. Not sure what they ever fly. And that's why I smell her pheromones.
Go! Go!